Greetings! My name is Anton Semchenko and I'm going to be your tutor for the hands-on shaders and effects in Unity 2019 course. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. I've been using Unity for 7 years daily. I worked on many projects, including 2D, 3D, VR, AR games and apps. So far, I've shipped two games. The first one is Fabric, a puzzle game played from a first-person perspective with a unique space-pending mechanics. The second game is Alchem's Castle, a side-scroller platformer with metroidvania elements and a focus on exploration. Both of them were released on Steam for PC. Alchem's Castle was released for Linux, Mac, PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. It got two awards so far, the Best Game Design and the Best Game Award. If you are curious about my other projects or want to say hi, Follow me on Twitter. My handle is at theantonsem. Also, check out my website. It is anton.website. Now let's take a look at the outline of this course. First, we will take a look at the new features of Unity 2019 and download the required assets. In the second section, I will introduce you to the Scriptable Render Pipeline, or SRP for short. Here we will talk about two render pipeline templates provided by Unity. Lightweight Render Pipeline, or LWRP, and High Definition Render Pipeline, or HDRP. Also, I will show you the new 2D lights and light settings. In the third section, I will introduce you to the Shaders and Shader Graph tool. Using this tool, you will be able to create shaders without any coding in an effortless way. In the fourth section, you will learn the Visual Effects Graph tool, or VFX Graph for short. Using this tool, you will create some cool and relatively lightweight particle effects. In the fifth section, we will talk about post-process effects. You will see how we can use them for the best results. We will have one more section as a bonus, and in this one, we will discuss the real-time ray tracing. By the end of this course, you will be able to create some cool and distinct looking visuals for your projects without writing a single line of code. For this course, you will need a PC with Microsoft Windows, Linux, or macOS installed. I will be using Windows. Unity fully supports Windows and Mac, but has limited support for Linux, so keep that in mind if you are a Linux user. I will assume the basic knowledge of Unity and won't explain how to set it up. If you don't know anything about it, I would suggest you watch the other course I worked on, Unity Development in 4 hours. You can find it on pegpop.com as well. I will use Visual Studio 2017 for the introduction to shaders video, but it will be to give you the perspective, so it is not mandatory. Visual Studio is usually installed alongside Unity, so if you have Unity installed, then you're most likely good to go. If not, any text editor will do. Goals for this course are to learn about the new render pipelines in Unity, to get accustomed to the new shader graph tool and the visual effects tool, to learn about post-process effects and ray tracing. So without further ado, let's get started.